we have now had some time to figure out what the 2.0 scoring system is all about and as well as uh, taking a look at some of the new true horns for the buffalo gotta say i'm impressed by the buffalo so there's one thing that really bugs me though but uh, i would actually love for you guys to put your comments down below what do you think about the update what's good what's bad kind of let's have a discussion here and i would love to direct ew to this video once we are uh, pretty much having the discussion going so they can see what the feedback is is right now because there is some obvious issues one of them being this now i cannot show you yet because it happened less than 24 hours ago on twitch but i got diamond buffaloes i got two diamond buffaloes i got three diamond buffaloes and this one over here is a really funky looking one as well i'm so happy about that one that's like so it, it's perfect <laughs> This is what um, the uh, true horn should be all about, honestly. It's just amazing. But why am I not happy with this? Yeah, let me tell you. On stream on Twitch, I had a level 9 water buffalo. Which of these do you think it is? Is it the guy right here scoring 196? This guy is scoring 198.6? Or is this guy over here 195.9? Yeah! You probably guessed it. Neither. All of these are mythicals. And I have no idea why this is. I had a level 9 legendary buffalo that did not make diamond. Yet, all these mythicals did. I feel there's an obvious flaw in that somewhere that needs to be addressed. Either they could completely remove like the levels of the animals. So we wouldn't be like, oh my god, that's a 9. That should be a diamond. Or that should be a really big animal. Just remove the entire level system as it is now, 1 till 9. And then just be, whenever we look at an animal, be like, oh, just look at this. That's a big guy. He looks big. And then we go from there, instead of trying to figure out why an 8 is making higher score than a 9, which does not make very much sense. And the big thing was as well, because the level 9... I think it was 1200 kilos which would have been a diamond for sure in the old scoring system but now when it's all down to the racks that's being the old rack right there there's actually not much difference to these but then um, I, I really do like the new ones um i don't know i feel like that's a disconnect somewhere and the easy fix for me would be to just remove the uh, level one trivia to level nine legendary and then just have it be if you look at a big animal it's a big animal maybe it's going to be a diamond but you'll actually have to shoot it to figure it out another thing i've found being somewhat of an issue is um there is a little bit of a I don't know if there is some issues with some of the hitboxes these days. It does seem like some of the shots that I've taken has just completely missed the target, even though it was bang on with the zeroing and was bang on with the um, aim. It's happened a lot more than usual. Uh, I'd love to hear if you guys have experienced the same thing. Other than that, we did find the clue for uh, upcoming content. I do imagine there might be more out there because the last weapon packs that we have seen has had several clues towards what will be in the uh, weapon pack for instance the weapon pack with the air gun we had three different boxes of ammunitions hidden around the uh, the maps so probably gonna see more out there all in all though i am happy with this update now i even managed and you're gonna see this in a later video as well i even managed to mess up a diamond or it wasn't a diamond because it wasn't big enough but it was a level five fallow deer and this led me to believe that choosing the biggest rifle might not always be the smartest thing to do because i hit it with the 270 which is now ethical for the fallow deer it didn't used to be that but a single flesh wound with the 270 ended up bringing down my fallow deer which supposedly it's cool you know it, it should rub at some point but had i shot it with a 243 i would have had a chance to get another shot in on that thing because it would take a lot longer for it to bleed out and i actually kind of shot myself in the foot by using this gun right here the 270 warden a single flesh hit with the 243 would definitely have given me a lot more time to go ahead and try again so that's actually really cool that even one of the biggest things now is that you, the way you can mess up your diamonds now, there's actually two ways. There's either that one where you're not 
taking your time with your shots. I got cocky, I just took a quick shot and uh, I paid the price. Didn't get a um, diamond out of it. It wasn't big enough in the first place, but I only ended up getting a silver out of a gold. The other thing, and this is actually the thing that I think is going to cost way more people diamonds. If you look at this right here, there is like this spot at the very top here, you know, the spinal cord. The spinal cord is an instant drop on any animal with any weapon, pretty much. But if you by accident hit the spinal cord and you do not hit any of the lungs, it's not a vital hit. But the animal dies in the tracks if you use any of the proper ammunition for that animal. And that is actually the thing I think is going to cost most people diamonds now is that you go a little high in the lungs and you end up clipping the spinal cord only. Maybe have missed shots to range a little or something like that. But that is definitely going to be the killer for most of my diamonds that I'm going to mess up. Which is cool. Um, I don't understand why the spinal cord is not an instant drop. Or a vital hit because it is an instant drop. But suppose, yeah, it makes sense to not promote it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to just figure out a way here. But uh, if it's intended, then definitely be very careful. You don't clip the spinal cord and the spinal cord only, because that might end up costing you diamonds. But yes, this video is more just to get a conversation started. What do you think about the scoring system 2.0? How do you feel about the new true horns for the buffaloes? And uh, yeah, if you do want to get the spreadsheets and such, it's all updated on the Discord now. You can go ahead and use it just as you like to um, try to get those diamonds. Thank you so very much for watching.